Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of English in Practice. It's Karim with you again, your English teacher. In today's lesson I'll teach you six phrasal verbs that we can use when we talk about money. So, let's begin. The first phrasal verb for today is bail someone out. If you bail someone out, that means you help someone get out of a difficult situation by giving them money. Let's have an example. My friend bailed me out last month. In this example, I am basically trying to tell you that I had a problem last month. I was in a difficult situation. And my friend helped me get out of this situation by bailing me out, which means he or she gave me money to help me get out of this difficult situation. The second phrasal verb is run through. Now, if you run through money, that means you spend a lot of money very quickly. Let's have an example. I ran through a lot of money without even paying my friend back. Now, as you can see in this example, I'm trying to tell you that I had a big amount of money, a lot of money, but I spent that money very quickly instead of paying my friend back or returning the money to my friend. The third one is cough up. Now, if you cough up money, that means you pay that money unwillingly. In other words, that means you pay that money, but you don't want to pay it, but you have to do it. Example, I had to cough up $100 for a speeding ticket. Now, in this example, I am basically telling you that I paid $100, but unwillingly. I did not want to pay that $100, but I had to do it because it was a speeding ticket, something you have to pay for. Number four is clean out. Now, if something cleans you out, it means that you spend all of your money on that thing. Let's have an example. My laptop is amazing, but it cleaned me out. Now, in this sentence, and using the phrasal verb clean out, I am basically telling you that because I bought that laptop, I have no money left now. I spent all the money I had on that laptop. Number five is square up with. If you take money from someone, if you borrow money from someone, and then you return that money to those people, then that means you square up with them. Let's have an example. I will square up with you once I receive my salary. Now, in this example, I am telling you, oh, this example basically shows that you have just lent me money. And now I am telling you, after taking the money, that I will return this money to you the moment I receive my salary. The last phrasal verb for today is come into. If you come into money, that means someone dies and leaves you some money. Example, I came into a good amount of money yesterday. My grandmother passed away. Now, in this example, I am showing you that because my grandmother died, I received money. That means my grandmother left me that money. That's why when something like that happens, you say I came into money or an amount of money. Today we learned six phrasal verbs that we can use to talk about money. I hope you learned something new today and enjoyed the lesson. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.